Hello and welcome to God's Word for today. My name is Brenda Gross. It's good to be with you. Good to be in the house of the Lord. And yes, God is on our side. And the Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? And the answer to that is, no one can have any success against us as long as we put God on the scene. Trust in Him. Trust in His words. I'm not saying that nobody will ever try. That the devil won't try to have success against you. Try to come against you in all kinds of ways. But I'm just saying trust in God and he will have no success. The Bible says cast in all your care upon him. For he cares for you. Praise God for he cares for you. Because Jesus said... I will never leave you nor forsake you, but I'll go all the way to the end of the world with you. Praise God. I will go all the way to the end of the world with you. The Bible says that God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. So whatever Jesus told you is the truth. You could trust him. You could put your trust in him because he cares for you. He wants the best for you. So we need to submit our will to his will. <clears throat> Say, Lord, your will be done in my life today. And every day hereafter, I submit my heart to you. I submit my life to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'll tell you something, when you do that, you give him a legal right to come in and help you. To come in and help you in whatever you're going through today. Give him the right. Because you know what? When you try to handle your problems by yourself, you take them out of his hand. So cast in all your care upon him and don't try to handle your problems by yourself. See, when people come against us, instead of retaliating, cast that upon the Lord. Say, Lord, you said cast in all my care upon you. I put this in your hands for you to take care of. Now, Lord, I'm trusting in you. I'm doing your business, and you said you would do mine. And you know what? It's none of our business what people do to us or say about us. It's none of our business. It's God's business. And the Bible says, well, God said, vengeance is mine. I will repay. Our duty is to pray. Pray for people. Somebody's been mean to you, pray for them. Pray and ask God to show them the error of their ways, and he will. He'll deal with them. Ask God to deal with them and pray for them that they might be saved. Don't retaliate and try to get vengeance and say, well, I'm going to get you back. You take it out of God's hands when you do that. Well, I'll give them a piece of my mind. No. You need all the pieces you can get, so you better keep your pieces of your mind. So you just give it to the Lord and let him handle it. And he will. He'll take care of it for you. Praise God. When you put your trust in him, putting all your trust in him, because he cares for you. He said, my peace I give unto you. Not as this world gives, but my peace. And he told us in St. John chapter 14, verse 1, Let not your heart be troubled. Let not, you let not. It's up to you. He says, you let not your heart be troubled. Understood subject is you. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me also. He says, because in my Father's house are many mansions. That means that there's room for whosoever will. There's room for everyone that'll believe and receive him as their Savior and Lord. There's room for you in the Father's house. 
or many mansions. If it were not true, I would have told you so. But I go to prepare a place for you, Jesus told him, and he told us. And if I go prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. So let not your heart be troubled. Don't you for one minute ever let your heart be troubled that's believing in God. You say, well, Brenda, that's hard to do in this world. There's a lot of troubles. Yes, there is. But praise God, just like an old saint of God said one time. An old saint of God said, why worry when you can pray? Why worry when you can pray? Praise God. Long time gone to be with the Lord now. She said, why worry when you can pray?